Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cinecool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have raids. I have multiple teams for you. I think like four, something like that. Uh, buying up in the shop right here. Gonna buy up to the weapon. It's one of those explodey weapons based on a typing that gives you a good status effect and summons. And it's based on silver glade and purple gems. It's pretty good, so I'd recommend getting the emerald blade. Um, explode 40 purple gems, grant a random status effect to all silver glade allies, then summon a silver glade troop. So I'd recommend buying up to that weapon, and that's where I'm going to stop. So, up to you. This team here, it's just the quick team to get to the boss. It's nothing that I recommend for anybody. I'm just showing everything that I did here. So I did a Dawnbringer team just to get to, like, Zul'Goth. I, I stopped using it once, to, once it stopped one-shotting. I immediately changed to something else. So, whenever that is for you... Use all your Nisha medals. Use your Dawnbringer with uh, all yellow troops. Uh, I used uh, Queen Aurora and uh, Princess Elspeth and I think the Sapphire Knight to just mostly mana feed that uh, Dawnbringer. Um, Bard class, because you can do 50% start. It's a good yellow class. It usually goes pretty well with the Dawnbringer. So yeah, this is just to get to Zul'Goth, basically. And then I even went further than just Zul'Goth because I was uh, just going until I stopped one-shotting. Which was like level 30 or 50 or something, Zul'Goth, so whatever. Whatever that may be for you, because it's going to be different. Your magic's going to be different. Um, basically cast Princess Elspeth on the Sapphire Knight or herself, and that'll make a bunch of yellow and blue. And you'll get up your Dawnbringer, and you know, you'll cast. You could even keep going with this if you really wanted to, and just two-shot with the Dawnbringer until it stops two-shotting. But hey, another thing I wanted to say is, guess what? I did a video every single day of 2021. If you don't believe me, you can go back and check. I actually did more than one video a day of 2021 because I did one every single day of 2021. So, yeah, Happy New Year and everything. It is uh, New Year's Eve right now as I record this. And, yeah, we, we don't stop, man. Not for Christmas, not for getting a little cold or something. Like, just been going all year. I've had many different things happen this year. I've had, like, things where I was a little bit... You know, like, you know, health stuff that almost stopped me in my tracks. But I still put out a video that day. I had the tooth thing. I still put out videos with a tooth that I had to stop every five seconds and drink water. You guys know that with the Sekiro video I put out and stuff like that. I think I did a Gems of War video probably on average almost every day too, but I'm not going to go that far. I know I did a video every single day of 2021, so we're going to do that again in 2022, baby. Um, anyway, here is the first team. This is the team where I can just use whatever... Is available to me uh, but we will do a no mythic no legendary no dawnbringer team of course as well but i was using tannenbaum rope dart queen aurora and princess elspeth for this team right here um yeah because i didn't really need the raid troop at the moment i think i switched out like you could switch out like uh queen aurora or princess elspeth for the raid troop if you want to but uh, Tannenbaum plus Rope Dart plus Archer, double yellow, blue, minus uh, red, I think, was the banner. Um, you could use also Elementalist as your class, I think. But that's like a dust storm. We don't really use brown, so that's why I used Archer instead. But anyway, we're getting Entangles. We're using that triple Skull Damage versus Entangled. We're using Rope Dart um, to, you know, maybe pull Zul'Goth to the front and then kill him with the Tannenbaum. Um... I just wanted to use Tannenbaum plus Rope Dart. That's the whole thing here. I think Rope Dart entangles, especially with Archer, which doesn't entangle. And then you can, you know, hit with Skulls with your Tannenbaum and destroy stuff that's entangled. Or you can use the combo of Rope Dart and Tannenbaum to kill stuff. And then the other two troops are just to feed those two troops. So anytime you have Rope Dart up, you want to cast it because it has an extra turn on it. So you can keep it on your turn and then keep going from there. Actually got one uh, hit by Zul'Goth there, so then I was probably like, man, I need that raid troop now. But he killed the most, you know, useless thing on my team, so no big deal there. Um, don't ever sacrifice, like, your, your rope dart or your Tannenbaum, but uh, usually with, um, when I'm using Princess Elspeth, I'll just sacrifice herself. And then that will give me a bunch of yellow or blue, which will either feed rope dart or Tannenbaum, and then you just go from there, so... This is the team I'm probably going to use, but uh, I do have a No Mythic, No Legendary, No Dawnbringer team that I'm about to show you right now in two versions of it. So, here it is, the No Mythic, No Legendary, No Dawnbringer team. Um, I tried to keep in mind if people don't have this weapon, that's why I show an alternate. It's pretty much this team with just a different weapon, so you have two choices in case you don't have Trickster Shot. 
But I'm using the Bone Golem, the uh, Raid Troop. Now with raids, I like to say this because, I don't know, I think it's a useful information. With raids, there's a raid captain, right? So he'll one-shot Zulgoth. You should use him, if you, if you're, especially if you're a beginner, because um, it's a lot of extra damage. You can kill Zulgoth really fast, so he doesn't one-shot you. But, you know, the difference between raids and towers is that the raid captain, only there's only one troop on the enemy team that, that he can really do a lot of damage to. And then with towers, you know, eventually you have four towers. So the tower captain's more important than the raid captain. So with the tower captain, you might use two tower captains. You might use three tower captains. But with the raid captain, you don't ever use more than one because once you kill Zulgoth, there's nothing else to do with it. So what I was doing here, Bone Golem uh, gains like attack and, and armor or something when it casts its spell. And then you can also, if you catch some skulls in his explosion, you can also uh, death mark. You kind of only want to do that one time because if you reset your death mark, it just... It goes back to that 10% chance, and it doesn't ever, like, you'll never death mark. So what you want to do is, like, get some skulls caught up in his explosion one time, like as many as you can. And then after that, don't get any skulls caught up in his explosion. You can still cast them, just don't get any skulls in there. But he inflicts death mark for every skull that you catch up in that explosion. And we have Lord Arendelle there. He's not the greatest raid troop ever, but he will one-shot uh, Zulgoth. Then uh, Trickster Shot is the weapon. It uh, eliminates the enemy's armor, then it does true damage, and it gains magic based on how much armor it eliminates. Then we have Princess Elspeth again. You can see with with all these teams, a common denominator. We're using Princess Elspeth. She starts empowered. Uh, she does um, kill one of your allies, but will summon in a knight. You could get Guard's Avatar. You could get um, the dude that starts nice, 50% mana. I always forget his name. You could get some cool knights. It's kind of fun. To use her but you could always just cast her on herself or you could use the raid troop what i was doing i'd use the raid troop to kill zulgoth and then i would sacrifice the raid troop because it, it's not very useful after you kill zulgoth so then i would get a bunch of yellow and blue which i don't use yellow and blue with the with the bone golem in the trickster shot but it would get princess elspeth up again it would summon something else and then i could either you know sacrifice the new summon troop or and maybe it's useful or maybe i sacrifice princess elspeth you know but the Bone Golem uh, is a really good tank. It gains tons of attack and armor, and it has like a 50% skull reduction, so he's a really good tank up there. And every time you cast him, he's going to gain even more attack. And then here we have Earth's Fury instead of Trickster Shot, and that just will compound that even more. Because uh, Earth's Fury, you cast it on an enemy, it drains their armor, it, it hits their it's pretty much true damage, and then you gain attack for your whole team based on how much armor that you eliminated. So it'll give it to the Bone Golem, and and the Raid Troop, and yourself, and and Princess Elspeth. See there, I got Guard's Avatar. You can get Guard's Avatar by using Princess Elspeth. Uh, make sure your whole team's fully traded. Um, and with the with this team, I think I'm using Elementalist. And I need to do a video on banners so you guys aren't so worried about uh, what banner I'm using. But um, probably a double brown. Uh, Double brown red or double brown purple or something like that. And then minus a color you're not using. Um, but yeah, get up uh, the raid troop, kill Zulgoth, then maybe either sacrifice the raid troop or Princess Elspeth to make a bunch of mana. And then you get a, a new knight troop in there. Maybe it'll be useful, maybe it won't. Maybe you'll sacrifice it, maybe you'll use it. But the main thing you're doing here is just building up your bone golem with your Earth's Fury and itself and just using skulls, death marking getting death mark kills, using your Earth's Fury to kill. Um, maybe you get a crazy good knight and you use that. It's pretty fun because it's like a different battle every battle. So like this battle right here, taking skulls. We have lots of skull mitigation. We gain lots of attack, so we're concentrating on some skulls here. Boom, hit them with skulls. Uh, take mana, of course. What are we going to do here? Going to use Earth's Fury on somebody that has a lot of armor. That way I can, uh, you know, the armor, you get attack based on how much armor you drain. So you want to attack somebody that has lots of armor. Kill Zulgoth with a raid troop, and so on. But yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. I'll see y'all in 2022. Shout out to DC United. Sounds like he's going to be our MVS. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs>